Okay. Mm, hey guys, Monster here. Uh, today, I'm finally getting to hair questions or hair concerns for Visual K. Okay, where do I? St I guess where do you start off? Um, I guess we'll start with hair length. Now, a lot of uh, Visual K or Shy K, J Rock in general, a lot of the people are guys, so their hair is going to be short. But, you know, I guess if you want to get their look, then, you know, go ahead and get a short haircut. Um, but you can totally do Visual K with long hair and curly hair, too. Um, I'll try to make a tutorial for curly hair because I know, I don't know, I haven't come across any uh, curly haired people, but I actually have naturally curly hair, but I have a Japanese street perm. That's another story. But anyway, so yeah, if you get a short haircut, um, I guess the best thing uh, for you to do is just uh, go go on the web. Google is going to be your best friend. Um, and you just look under the images and uh, just type in J-Rock, Visual K, whatever, or if you have a certain, um, <coughs> if you hear that, sorry, that's my nephew crying in the background, um, if you have a certain band or a person that you really like their hair cut, uh, print out that picture, and what I would recommend doing, though, is bring actually several different styles that you like to your hairdresser, um, because they might say it might not look so good with your face shape so you definitely want your hair to frame your face well okay so that's for okay so that's short now if you have long hair like my hair you s I when I got it cut was like here and it it's been like about a year so it's pretty long um Definitely, you want to get it layered. Now, I didn't cover that with a short hair. You're definitely going to get everything layered concerning if you want a J Rock, Visual K kind of type style and be able to do those really cool hairstyles and such like that. But for long hair, um, but you can, well, you can get away with not having layers if you just want to do a mana hairstyle. Uh, but I personally I recommend getting uh, le different layers cut into your hair. So that's long. Well I guess I could show you how I have mine. Because I haven't been to the to the dresser for quite a long time. So Ugh, my hair is crazy, but, well. Alright, so, as you can clearly see, now we're going to get, I guess we'll get into bangs now. Um, you can get bangs. I, as you can see here, uh, I have it short and I have it longer. Now I usually, well, I cut it myself now. I cut some of my hair myself. So, what's a really good thing to do when you go to the hairdresser is um, pay attention to how they're cutting it. Because if you're like me, and all of a sudden you just go broke, <laughs> and you need a haircut, it's good to see how they're cutting it so you can just trim the ends. So what I, when I noticed when I got my hair done um, when I was in Tokyo at the time, um, they take like a section like this. You get your handy comb out. You're gonna go like this. And what I notice is, hopefully you guys can see me come a little closer. They take the ends and they just go snip, 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 snip. So like in a diagonal way. So when it comes like this. The top layer should be the shortest, 
and the further you go down your head, this should be the longest. Same thing with banks. Um, depending on where you want to place them, like let's say you just want bangs. Like I don't, I don't know why you just want bangs, right? Uh, what I notice that I don't like is, you know, the bangs where like you go a hairdresser and they start up here and then they cut them and then when you look at when you really look at them, it seems kind of bald if you know what I mean. Like there's patches like you can see through your hair I don't like that so what I like to do I you know I start like in the middle around the middle of my head and bring it down so it's more has more body and it's covered no bald uh, patches <laughs> going on there um, okay I guess I keep saying hairdresser and I uh, whew, so much to say um keep talking about hairdresser, let me be specific on what type of hairdresser you want to go to. Now, uh, if you ever have a particular hairdresser that you know it's really good, like you can do trendy haircuts, um, who's not afraid of um, taking risks, because when you're doing J-Rock, you're going to be taking risks with all those layers, and they might be like, oh, that's not going to be good for your hair, D depending on your hair, your hair type, and your fa your face shape, and all that stuff, but, um, if you, if you don't care, and you just want it, just be really persistent, and if they won't do it, just find an another hairdresser, but, okay, so we'll start off, so, if you ha already have a set hairdresser that you really like and you know that they're willing to do that then go ahead bring your images of um, you know the different hair hairstyles that you like and they'll pick out the one that best frame your face um, now let's say that you don't have a, a favorite hairdresser then what I would rec recommend is either go to one a Japanese hair salon or two, um, find like a, a trendy uh, hair hair salon. What I mean by trendy is that they're, like I said, for concerning people who already have, have a favorite hairdresser, um, they're willing to take the risk on the type of hairstyle that you want. And they're able to do lots of layers and stuff like that. So, but me personally, I like to go to Japanese hair salon because I feel like they, well, they know what they're doing. <laughs> I mean, they get their hair layered pretty much all the time, and they know how to do it well. So, plus, that's where I get my the street perm, too. So, why not? It's included. Um... So yeah, that's uh hairdresser.